Two days ago on December 12th, Dr. Brewer and PrevMed launched their cardiovascular inflammation course. It's basically designed to teach us what the root causes of cardiovascular inflammation are. And these are the inflammatory markers that often indicate elevated risk and potentially lead to a cardiac event such as a heart attack or a stroke. For years, doctors have been chasing a lot of indicators of cardiovascular disease, uh, often the wrong biomarkers. They're looking for things like elevated cholesterol, for example. And what they find is the majority of people, at least 50% of the people are still having heart attacks, even when their cholesterol levels are very low and at goal. So obviously there had to be more to the story. Uh, more recently, it was discovered that the inflammation being the cause of cardiovascular disease can be identified. It can be measured and quantified and actually treated with diet, lifestyle, uh, some targeted medications, exercise, um, perhaps a few targeted supplements as well. The um, course can be accessed at www.prevmedheartrisk.com. Clicking the link at the top for the cardiovascular inflammation course, and it will take you to a site that you can actually go through this four part series and take a look at how you can go about determining your own cardiovascular inflammation. I wish I would have known this years ago. I never knew the real cause of cardiovascular disease till I met Dr. Brewer a couple of years ago. Uh, once I determined I had a lot of this inflammation and that it was being caused by elevated blood sugars, it was very simple to that, therefore, treat it and get it under control. As a result, in the course of a couple of years, I've been able to reduce the plaque burden in my coronary arteries by almost 60%. Uh, when you get into the course, it starts talking again about the four types of inflammation. C-reactive protein, microalbumin creatine, creatinine ratio, and uh, which is a sign of arterial damage. Uh, some people call it arterial leakage, uh, generally caused by elevated blood sugars. Myeloperoxidase is basically a digestive enzyme that looks at existing plaque in the arteries and it's trying to digest it. Sounds like a beneficial thing? Not always. It can be dangerous. LPPLA2, otherwise called the plaque test, this shows if you're actually developing plaque in your arterial wall. If there's an active process going, what you'll find is it can be treated as well. But you have to know it's there. Uh, the summary on the course is the next video. And finally, now that you have that solid background on the inflammation markers, you can discuss it with your doctor and request that these tests be run. Uh, if your doctor agrees to do it, great. They'll help you interpret it. But if they don't and you need to know these inflammation markers, you can do it on your own without a doctor's order by using direct-to-consumer online lab services. There's a number of them available. This video here will explain how to go about it. Uh, these are the providers mentioned in the videos. There's Cleveland Heart Labs, Direct Labs, Life Extension Foundation, and requesttotest.com. Um, these people will do these inflammation testing for you. Um, there's a number of ways to go about it as, as explained in the video. Uh, it, it's not covered by insurance. Uh, you need to use a credit card to pay for these labs. Once you do, they will send you a requisition that you can take to any uh, Quest Diagnostic or LabCorp facility. And in several days gone by, you will get your results or at least a notification by email that you can log on to their website and get those results. Um, so yes, it costs a little money, uh, but you have to ask yourself how much is good health worth 
and if you're like me and been chasing the root cause for a little over 10 years, um, I wish I would have done this years ago. So all we ask that in return, since this inflammation course is free of cost to you, the consumer, we would appreciate it very much if you would fill out the survey because the survey is very important to determine if these videos are done in a user-friendly manner, how they could be made better, and what courses would you like to see offered down the road. Uh, so if you have any questions on the inflammation course or how to get these labs done on your own, please comment below and we will reply. Thank you very much.